Anyone who is a fan of warbirds or has been following aviation news probably at this point has heard about the EAA's B-17 aluminum overcast. While on the road in spring of 2021, the aircraft was grounded following evidence of movement on the wing fairing. While investigating the issue, a crack was found in the left wing's shear web. Because of this event, the remaining eight B-17 operators grounded their aircraft in preparation for the AD inspection that would be issued by the FAA. Because of the unknown of what the inspection would entail, or if the aircraft would be allowed to ferry back home if it was on the road when the inspection came, Yankee Air Museum opted to ground its B-17 for the 2023 season so it would not get stuck anywhere. In May 2023, the FAA released the AD outlining the inspection procedures. I recently had the opportunity to work with the Yankee Air Museum as the inspection procedure became live. In today's video, we take an up-close look at the inspection procedure that took place on Yankee's B-17 named Yankee Lady. To take a look at the procedure, we dive into the wing root of the B-17, where the wing is connected to the fuselage. Although each wing has a forward and aft web spar, each having two primary mounts on it, the inspection is only concerned with the lower forward mounting areas of each wing. The affected area for the inspection is the inboard most bolt hole on the wing terminal which is where aluminum overcast was discovered to have had a crack. The terminal, in simple design terms, is more or less a fork with two tabs which three pins run through connecting the wing to the fuselage. The terminal is made up of steel and slides into an outer aluminum piece which then mounts to the aluminum shear web wing structure. Although it is held by multiple bolts, only the inboard most bolt hole is concerned because if a crack forms there, the end of the terminal could completely shear off, separating the wing from the fuselage. In theory, if there was an issue with any of the other bolt holes, the terminal would still have bolts downstream of the defect hole holding it in place. In order to perform the inspection, the bolt filling the hole in question must be removed. To gain access to remove the bolt, a section of the wing's rib structure is cut out. This will later be replaced with a splice that can be easily removed and reinstalled in anticipation that this becomes a repetitive inspection. Once the bolt is removed, a type of non-destructive testing called eddy current is used to inspect the hole for cracks. A special spinning bolt hole probe is used in this procedure. This method of testing uses an electromagnetic field created by the coil that is induced into the material that is being tested. Any defects, whether on the surface or subsurface, will change the impedance, showing a change in phase and amplitude on the machine's readout. This inspection procedure is widely used in the aerospace industry and notably used to inspect the fan blade routes on the CFM 56 engine following an uncontrolled engine failure due to a crack on Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 in 2018. Thankfully for Warbird and B-17 lovers, both of Yankee Lady's wing terminals and the surrounding structure were found defect-free, giving the aircraft a clean bill of health after the inspection. With a little bit of reassembly and all the paperwork, the aircraft will be back in the air soon. The Yankee Air Museum is located in Michigan at Willow Run Airport with various building locations on the airfield. Notably, the museum takes up a portion of the historic Willow Run bomber plant, which used to produce the B-24 during World War II, as well as a building and hangar that used to house the Michigan Institute of Aviation and Technology before it was relocated to a larger building. In addition to the B-17 Yankee Lady, the museum's flying fleet, which is housed in the Roush Aeronautics hangar, consists of a North American B-25 named Rosie's Reply, a Douglas C-47 named Hairless Joe, a Ford 4ATB Ford Trimotor, and a UH-1 Huey helicopter, as well as many non-flying static displays. Lately I have been posting different types of content as the channel grows. This type of video is a little different than the normal commercial aviation my channel is focused on, so let me know what you think and leave a comment below if you liked it. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.